Have you ever looked around your classroom or in your neighborhood and community and noticed just how different everybody is? I'm not just talking about the color of our skin, the length of our hair, or the shape of our bodies. I mean the things that we like to do, the foods we enjoy eating, and the holidays that we celebrate, or the religions we practice. There are so many things that make us different, and those differences should be respected, valued, and acknowledged. Today, we're taking a trip around the world. We're gonna explore cultures, fashion, hobbies, religions, and all of the amazing different things that our world has to offer. Culture is a special and unique way of living. All the things that people do and believe in and the activities that are important to them make up their culture. Many people build their lives and identities around their culture. There are many, many different cultures around the world and no one is better than the other. Let's start exploring. This is a map of the world, and there are seven continents. North America, South America, Europe, Africa, Asia, Australia, and Antarctica. Each of these continents holds anywhere between 12 to 54 countries on their land. Let's take a closer look. This is where we are, in the United States of America, a country in North America. The five most spoken languages in America are English, Spanish, Mandarin, Tagalog, and Vietnamese. The most popular religion in the U.S. is Christianity, with the majority of the population celebrating Christmas, Thanksgiving, Halloween, and Easter. However, America is often described as a melting pot because so many different cultures have contributed to what's become American culture. Clothing styles vary by social status, region, occupation, and climate. In Los Angeles, you can find almost everyone with the staple board shorts, jeans, graphic tees, and sneakers. But if you made your way to the East Coast, like in New York, you might be more likely to find long coats, hats, and boots. American foods have been influenced by other nations largely, but today the most commonly identified as American are hamburgers, hot dogs, potato chips, and apple pie. America is largely known for its sports culture. Between football, baseball, basketball, and hockey, there is always a reason to flock to a stadium and enjoy a good game. Baseball especially being known as America's favorite pastime. Spain is located in Europe. Known for its fiestas, beaches, and the artwork of world-renowned artists such as Picasso, Salvador Dali, and Miro, Spanish culture is as fascinating as it sounds. The importance of religion in Spain is dated back hundreds of years, and though only about 40% of the people today identify as Roman Catholic, much of the religious festivals and holidays are still widely celebrated. You will also find that Spaniards live a very laid-back lifestyle. Many events start later, like having lunch at 2 p.m. instead of noon and dinner at around 8 to 9 p.m. The most popular sport in Spain is football, but not the one we usually think of. In America, we'd call it soccer. Barcelona and Real Madrid have won multiple titles. For fashion choices, you might see colorful dresses, button-down shirts, and jeans. Expressions of culture are not hard to find in Africa. There is an estimated amount of 1,500 to 2,000 spoken African languages, with the most spoken language being Swahili. Many people living in Africa are farmers and live almost entirely off the food they grow themselves. One of the more popular dishes is the egusi soup from Nigeria. Made from melon seeds rich in fat and protein that have been dried up and ground up, this soup or stew typically contains leafy vegetables, meat, or fish. When visiting countries in Africa, you will find that they are very traditional. Young girls and women are mostly responsible for cooking and taking care of children, while men carry out the more laborious tasks. There are thought to be around 3,000 different African tribes, each with its own unique traits and cultures. Australia's first peoples were the Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people. There are more than 370 million indigenous people spread across 90 countries, making up about 5% of the world's population. Of those, there are about 5,000 indigenous communities and 4,000 different spoken languages. Traditions are usually passed down through stories. Much of the cultural knowledge is based on a spiritual worldview expressed through respect, more so respect for ancestors and sacred land. Music plays a large role in indigenous culture with traditional arts and instruments. Native clothing is typically made from woven materials and is highly responsive to the environment and seasons. Many of the embellishments are made from natural products like dyes, feathers, and shell ornaments. Fur garments are common as well as crafted skirts or dresses for women. 
The patterns and colors carry meaning to different tribes, which is why it's important not to copy these designs just for a fashion statement. But just like we can't assume people's cultures based on how they look, we also can't assume their culture based on what they wear. Our indigenous friends wear a variety of clothes, not just their traditionally meaningful attire. And now here we are in Asia. There are many different ethnic groups, all with their own distinct language and culture. In India alone, more than 850 different native languages are spoken and used in daily conversations. Islam, Hinduism, and Buddhism are the main religions in Asia. Diwali, Festival of Lights, is a major holiday that is celebrated by Hindus, Buddhists, and Jains. It extends over five days and celebrates the victory of good over evil. The Philippines is located in the Pacific Ocean as part of the continent of Asia. Filipino culture is similar to those of Maleo, Polynesian, Hispanic cultures, and an influence of Chinese. This has a lot to do with the history of colonization in the Philippines. Spain colonized the island for 300 years. With Mexico and Spain ruling over the Philippines, the Hispanic influence changed their style of dance and choice of Catholic religion and traditions. There are three main regions in the Philippines, and each has their own specialty foods. Seafood and rice are common. Native dishes include adobo, a meat stew made from pork or chicken, lumpia, meat or vegetable rolls, pancit, a noodle dish, and lechon, roasted pig. The Palarong Pambansa is a national sports festival on the island, known as the National Olympics for college students. Popular sports include basketball, boxing, football, chess, bowling, and badminton. Filipino culture is often family-oriented. The elderly are honored and respected, and children are taught to say po and apo to show respect to their grandparents from an early age. The most important thing to remember is that the way someone looks or the color of their skin does not define the culture they belong to. The best way to find out what culture someone belongs to is to simply ask them.